apples, David? Yes, I do. Yes, I do indeed. Look over there. Oh, this is going to be lovely. I hope you are all excited. I think that they are hornbills. Yes, they are. My goodness, the return of the southern ground hornbill finally. We've waited long enough to see these beautiful birds again. And well, aren't they just putting on the most magnificent show for us by posing on the dead leadwood? Just two of them though. I wonder where the rest of the family group is. Typically they live in, in, in families. They have, they're quite gregarious. But just two this morning, preening themselves in the lovely morning light. Now again, we are being super greedy. Please give us your beautiful call. There's nothing quite like the sound of marimba drums. Hang on, can you see that one is collared? It's got a, you see there the one at the bottom? It's actually got a ring around its leg. So that's quite interesting. So that one has obviously uh, been darted or was either, either, either uh, raised in captivity and then released out into the wild. The other one doesn't have any rings around it. That's fantastic. And it's a pity we're not closer because if we were able to get a number, the number of that ring uh, that's around its, uh, it's around its leg, it would be interesting to find out where it's actually come from. Because you can go to uh, bird, uh, SA Bird Life and actually give them the number and they'll find out exactly where it's come from. But I know that there are a couple of places, like for instance the Hootsprayt in, in Endangered Wildlife Centre, they do a lot of rehabilitations and actually um, raising of southern ground hornbills and then release them uh, back into the area. But this one could have come from anywhere. But that's really, really, really nice to know.